So I'm Adam Jennings, Senior Solutions Architect here at Double Cloud. Uh, joined, uh, I guess, almost a year ago now, this growing startup. And um, it's really the mission to, you know, help help our customers succeed in the marketplace and uh, building on some open source tools and some nice tech. And I'm glad that Constantine was able to join me today. Uh, Constantine, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, so hello, everyone. Uh, I'm really glad to join this uh, webinar. Uh, maybe several words about myself. I think that's I have been working for a CTO in different food tech companies for the last uh, almost uh, seven years. Uh, I've been working from starting from really not so big startups till really big uh, tech companies. And right now I'm a CTO of uh, Young Godella Tech and I'm really happy that I'm facing uh, so big challenges right now. I think that during this uh, webinar, we will be talking about it. And I think that's that's it. Awesome. On your next slide. So what we're going to be talking about today is how to build end-to-end -end analytics in one week, right? So this is, you know, Constantine and their team's experience um, moving to a platform like Double Cloud. Uh, and some of the we'll talk about some of the challenges, some of the some of the successes that we've that they've uncovered or discovered throughout the process. So yeah, let's go ahead and start Constantine. We'll start with your architecture. So, you know, before before we talk about the architecture though, you know, what's your current business model? How, you know, how how does Django Delhi work? Okay, I think that's uh, first of all several words about our company. Yes, so we're a company that's uh, provides uh, technologies and uh, expertise for retailers and uh, uh, e-commerce companies. So we almost offer a universal set of tools that help uh, traditional retailers and marketplace transitions from brick and mortar business models to a really number one players on the market. So the goal of our team, first of all, to provide various solutions for fulfillments and delivery processes. Also, we have a really great expertise in commerce, uh, some client experience uh, and uh, an analytics. So today we'll be talking mostly about analytics. So uh, if we a little bit deep dive to our model, so we provide uh, three big blocks of expertise. First of all, uh, we build end-to-end -end solutions for our partners. I think that we can look at it like uh, boxes in which uh, partners provide different information and these boxes output uh, some numbers or some solutions. So examples of these boxes or end-to-end -end boxes may be some uh, logistic services like uh, storage or mm -hmm. dispatch. So here, this is uh, a almost completed complete solutions, and it is easy to fit into business processes of the partners. So here okay. is the first part. The second part, we come to partners, understand their business, and try to implement different fixes or uh, implement some additional services to the current solution. For instance, yeah. uh, if we are talking about also maybe logistic services, and uh, a partner, for instance, which is work, uh, who's working on uh, a market and uh, they got a really good dispatch system, we can implement some maybe dynamic search or a dynamic pricing, which will uh, increase the business efficiency. And the third model is, of course, consultancy. So we provide consultancy very wide, and uh, this consultancy includes may not include any solutions, but uh, it includes our expertise, which we have mm -hmm. on the market building, uh, food tech services. So in general, we got three business streams in which we're working. Again, end-to-end -end solutions like boxes. Second, it's uh, implementing different uh, additional services to the current mm -hmm. business model and processes. And the third one is, of course, consultancy. Gotcha. So, so, so in this case, we're talking about today, you know, how hard was it to launch a partner facing analytics solution? You know, what problems did you, did you have or what did you anticipate? Oh, uh, yeah, a really interesting question. I think that's uh, talking about uh, our experience, our previous experience. I think that we should keep in mind that 
we're still a startup and okay. uh, uh, we're looking forward to our end model. Yes. And right now we're just uh, trying to understand because we're we're working with lots of partners and we're trying to understand how to build this uni universal model so if we're talking about maybe the most uh, challenging uh things which we're facing during our work i think that uh the first one is against scalability uh, by scalability i mean the situation when uh, we try to build uh, our product which on the one hand can satisfy all the needs of our partners. And on the other hand, our solution should be really flexible that we could easily, in really short periods of time, implement uh, uh, into our partners' platform. The second thing, uh, the second challenge which we're facing is, of course, uh, integration with different uh, data sources. Yes, because all the partners are really different different and they need is uh, from a really big range so we need to complete all their needs and we have to uh, build a really universal solution again mm -hmm. uh, and maybe the, the, the third challenge which i can say it's uh, security yes mm -hmm. i think that's it's it's understand uh, yes that uh, our platform our partners platform data may contain really sensitive information sure. so for us it's important to ensure that uh, appropriate security measures are in place to protect all the data uh, from different authorized accesses so i think that's that is the biggest challenges which we're facing right now yeah during launching a partner facing analytics are, are they the same problems you thought you'd have are those, are those the problems you anticipated going in? Uh, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's it. Yeah, they, 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 they seem like common problems that anybody watching the webinar would, would run into, you know, scalable, flexible integration with current stack and, and security, obviously. Yeah. yeah. So when, when you're choosing a platform or choosing a solution, you know, do you, you know, what, is in your bucket for a managed open source solution versus buying a proprietary solution versus developing everything in house. You know how how do you how do you decide which route you're going to go when you're when you're looking at the solution? Yeah, so uh, I think that's uh, answering this question. I think uh, uh, let's get back to the name of our seminar. Yes, how how to build uh, an analytics in seven days, and it's maybe a funny story. Yes, because uh, we we've come to double cloud in really critical situation first of all we decided to build everything in-house yeah but uh during launching uh, our system to one of the partners uh before maybe in seven days uh before launching uh, this uh, our solution and implements into the architecture of our partner we have faced a really critical situation when we understood that we're not fulfilling uh, the timing and uh, we understood that we uh, don't have uh, a real expertise in okay. order to launch some some kinds of uh, data services so we've come to double cloud uh, in order to help and uh, uh, and ask could you provide these kinds of uh, solutions yes that's it it will be solutions about data transfer and data cloud so double cloud uh, helped us so mm -hmm. regarding this so in short uh, first of all i think that's using uh, managed open source solutions of course uh, have a really dramatically lower cost Yes, compared to all other solutions, especially to build everything in the house. That's the first. The second is that uh, all solutions are really well established and uh, you have a really understand of timings of how much will it take to implement some kind of solution because uh, I think that uh, in the other cloud, really great professionals which can have a really good uh, expertise in launching everything. So... All the consultation is uh, on the side of Double Cloud. And I think that's the first and the most important for our company is that, uh, again, we don't have our final model yet. 
on the one hand, and on the other hand, all our partners are really difficult. So we need to have uh, some kind of solution of a partner that can uh, satisfy all our changing needs. Yes, mm -hmm. that can. Uh, I'm talking right now about flexibility. Yes, a partner right. that can help us to work on different stacks. Yes, and do it really fast. So that's that's really three points about which we're we we we've uh, chosen uh, managed open source software. That's that's a really great thing. Yeah, and th that was one of the things that originally drew me to Double Cloud is the managed open source. So you get the you get the open source the benefits and the community and the drive and you know all these cool projects, but then you also get the the management and taking you know making it easier to consume those open source projects. So. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm a big fan of managed open source. Yeah, I think that's also, I think that I can, I can, uh, say several words about our team because yeah. I think that's, uh, from, from the standpoint of, uh, all the solutions, yes, which we provide to our customers because the range is really big. Yes. Uh, I think that everything we do, we have a team of eight engineers and this yeah. Uh, of eight engineers, including a uh, specialist of uh, business intelligence, yes, which were which are responsible for dashboards, and with this not so big team, we fulfill a really uh, great range of uh, implementing all these kind of solutions. Everything else regarding managing uh, databases and all our architecture or on the data cloud side, so it gives us really great flexibility. So. It, a, a team is only eight, uh, eight, eight people, and that, that, that's all. I think that's awesome. I, I think that's good for the the webinar uh, viewers to know that it's a team of eight people that can they can manage an end an analytics solution for multiple customers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So, what tools do you provide for for your partners or your customers? You know, what what tools do you give them? You know, whether, whether they're based on Double Cloud or not. You know, what do you provide them? What functionality do you provide them? Yeah, I think that's, uh, uh, again, talk, talking about tools, I think that we can uh, define uh, two big uh, segments of tools. So the first one is, of course, we provide uh, dashboards, yes, with mm -hmm. uh, key metrics, yes, for our partners. Uh, that's that's the first segment. Uh, and the second segment is, of course, we provide, as I previously said, uh, some services, which is based on the data. Yes, uh, there also I, I can mention that there are two kinds of services. First of all, it's which is built on some DVH, uh, DVH databases, yes. And the second services is which is built on real-time data. Yeah, okay. so that's it. So for... So for both the real time and the, and the databases, are you are you using are you using Kafka for real time? Are you using, you know, streaming that data into to ClickHouse? You know, we have your architecture slide up here. You know, how are you leveraging that real time data? Yes. Yeah, so under the hood, yes. Yeah, so under the hood, if you see, so uh, we've been done some kinds of research, and we have been looking forward to to the best solution for our partners. And we've stopped at ClickHouse. So it's yeah. a replica hybrid storage. Yes, for us, it's, it, uh, for us, it's uh, a really good solution. On the one hand, it has a really good integration with S3. Yeah. Yep, it's also, sure. yeah. So it's, it's on the other hand, I think that it's calm oriented. So we have really uh, uh, have possibility to query data in real time and it's really fast. So it's state of the art solution in working with real time data. Uh, and also, I think that's, so by the way, we should mention that we have really good expertise in ClickHouse. Also, I think that I should mention that uh, we are looking forward to add Kafka in this uh, scheme, but right now we're in some kind of research. Uh, Kafka, okay. I think that's, uh, yes, we're looking forward to use Kafka for some kind of new functionality of our platform. We're looking forward to include some kind of alerts. By alerts, I mean that uh, sometimes when we're launching uh, a service for our partner and uh, maybe uh, to integrate a new service uh, may take some kind of time, but a partners want from us uh, a real-time alerts about what's going on in their business. Yes, not to 
uh, maybe to start a business with some kinds of manual operations based on data. So we're looking forward to this functionality in order to provide almost from the first steps of working with our partner, a really great solutions which can uh, make their business effectively. So that's it. I think that's, yes, for real time we use ClickHouse, but we're looking forward maybe to include some, some kind of Kafka uh, yes. That's, yeah, that's, I, I, I like the marriage of Kafka and ClickHouse. So, you know, yeah. using the, the Kafka table engine inside of ClickHouse and, you know, be able to stream and, and then buffer those um, the streams and, and then ultimately deliver those to some type of storage solution, you know, based on ClickHouse, whether that's the hybrid storage like you talked about or, you know, even just hot storage initially. So um, I, li I like the how they complement each other, the two, the two projects, ClickHouse and, and Kafka. Yeah. So, so you said you said your, your BI engineers, they, you know, they, obviously they're they're working on dashboards and finding tools to use that. So what made you choose to use double cloud visualization um, out of all the other things out there in the market? Yeah, I think that's uh, that's 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 a really interesting point. So that's uh, using a double cloud visualization. Yes. First of all, uh, it is really fast. So you don't need to think about how, how which instrument to choose in order to visualize your data i think that's uh, it's really great solution if you want to provide really I would say, hot analytics and really yep. short periods of time you just have a database and you just uh, can use in-house solution of uh, for make some kinds of visualization uh, which kind of visualization? First of all, I think that we can define it in, in two parts, uh, uh, which we provide to our customers. First of all, we provide, first of all, uh, different uh, operational metrics in terms of services which we're launching. If we're talking about commerce uh, data, yes, we provide some metrics about uh, uh, fulfillment. Uh, yes, about on-stock values. If we're talking about logistics, we provide some uh del delivery time mm -hmm. uh, estimation yes and uh, all other and the second uh, kind of metrics is of course metrics connected to to the pnl yes because uh on the one hand it's operational metrics it's great but on the other hand it's really nice to see how your pnl works and how right. it reflects with operational metrics like uh, how your money works and is your business effective so it's can do really easily with all the in-house uh, BI systems, yes, which is included into the, the double cloud solution. Gotcha. I, I appreciate that. Um, so I, I know that they're working on open sourcing, you know, our visualization tool, you know, because there, there are other open source tools out there. There's other proprietary tools out there. Um, I like what we've been doing with, you know, some of the additional functionality um, to add, you know, things like, have you are you using the SQL queries at all or using all just drag and drop, you know, do you know what your BI engineers are doing? Um, uh, with the yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, most, most of the time we use, first of all, uh, SQL queries. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it can, uh, because, uh, you know, building some kind of a system which includes like PN, PNL, first of all, uh, we need to build uh, some really in depth uh, analytics, in depth visualization. So we need to control all the steps. Uh, but uh, you know, anyway, it's it makes us do our in-depth analytics really fast. On the other hand, when we really need to make some maybe basic analytics during the start, of course, drag and drop. Uh, it's it's also suitable for us yeah. just to some basic analytics. Of course, yep. uh, drag and drop is also comfortable. Yep. Yeah, I, I like that we have both both options there, right? So you can get started quickly. But then you can really dig in with your own custom SQL queries to make sure uh, you're getting the exact data you need returned from your database. Yeah. Okay. So agree. Yeah. Um, speaking of database, uh, you know, we use ClickHouse here uh, at Double Cloud as is our data store. So, what made you, you know, fall in love with, or you know, made you choose ClickHouse for under the hood of your visualization? Yeah, so so as I already said, first of all, it's uh, because it's columnar column yep. oriented solution. Yeah, so it's really state of the art solution for providing really uh, a, a really nice instrument to curate data in real time. Yes, mm -hmm. so 
uh, th that's that's maybe the most obvious point. Also, maybe uh, that uh, we should mention that uh, on the scheme you see that uh, we got uh, a replicas. Uh, we 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 got a really. Uh, Lots of sources that we have. We must have ERP or other sources which uh, we use from our partner. Uh, yeah. It may it may sound yes that uh, how we deal with it because ClickHouse it's uh, not really go to joints as as, as you right. know. Uh, yeah, but uh, you see that there is some kinds of S3 layer in which we using Trina yes deal yeah. with this problem. Yes, so we got all the face data from our sources using replication service from Double Cloud. Yes, in ClickHouse. Yes, in, in replica in, in hybrid storage, and then using Trina, we deal uh, with all all of it. Yes, so finally we got a replica in which we have really uh, super fast uh, query, and it really helps us to make a, a, a near real time analytics on all the data which we have from our partners. Gotcha. You 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 said something there that made me think of when you say near real time. Like, what's your, you know, what is your goal? You know, from end to end, um, how how many seconds, minutes, you know, do you consider real time to get data to your your dashboards? Yes. Yeah, so it's really nice question. So I think that uh, everything depends on the products which we are providing, and the most real time product is first of all our logistic product. Yes, okay. logistic product or logistic services. It's services which provide first of all solutions for managing your couriers, for managing uh, your uh, situation near the store, which is controlling the balance between supply and demand. So mm -hmm. in this case, uh, in the target, we need almost uh, uh, five, maybe to 10 seconds uh, in, in case of reactions. So it will give us a really nice... Uh, uh, a really nice uh, control of balancing the supply and demand. So that, that's, 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 that's yeah. yeah. I always try to ask that question early on in a conversation with a customer or partner for that matter. You know, what does real time mean to you? Cause I've seen, you know, banks where they say, you know, real time is mm. the last day because the, all the financial stuff happens in the middle of the night. And so they only need it daily, but most people, it means, you know, seconds at some point. Right. And so, yeah. You know, but you, you just never know with a certain customer. Maybe maybe they only look at only they only refresh data when everybody gets in the office in the morning. So maybe it, it's it really is a couple times a day is enough. So I, I was I get in the habit of trying to ask um, you know what it means to be real time. Yeah, yeah, as I've already said, for 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 us, real time is approximately several seconds. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's the horizon in which we can effectively. Uh, make uh, solutions. Yes, first of all, in terms of logistics, as I previously mentioned. Gotcha. Yes, from five to ten seconds for us, it's quite okay. Gotcha. Do you do you get do you have? I see you have some other services from your other partners. You've already kind of talked about that with Trino. Uh, anything else you want to add about you know how you work with your partners? Mm, I think that's uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's uh, it's. Uh, uh, the, the, there is a part, you know, that's uh, a really interesting part uh, when our partners got a direct access for some kinds of raw data. So okay. here is, yeah, so here is some arrows, yes, from our partners, not only directly to our reporting, but uh, it's it, it really interesting to mention that we provide to our partners an access to the raw uh, layer of data. So in this case, it uh, brings us uh, or brings, first of all, to partners, a really great dimension of flexibility. Uh, one way, uh, for, for instance, they can use this data for... Uh, maybe their own dashboard systems or maybe for their own services. So I think that is the really interesting part that we're not only providing, how to say, end-to-end -end box, uh, black box solutions, but we also provide all the aggregated data for our partners, which they can use for their own needs. Gotcha. And, and, and in that case, you usually provide something like read-only access or, you know, um... Something something more locked down so that they're not gunking up the data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's it. So yep. yeah. So so now that you already have this this solution set up, you know we we titled this the webinar about one week, um, seven days to set up your analytics solution. Um, 
now that you have that basis set up, what are you, what are your current problems you're working on and, and how do you expect that, you know, double cloud solution will be able to help you out? Okay. I think that's, uh, yeah. So, uh, talk, talking about, uh, uh, right now on this webinar, we have been talking about mostly about, uh, yes, data, but mm -hmm. uh, we also provide uh, lots of uh, other services like uh, ERP or uh, VMS, but d d WMS, I mean, or so warehouse management system or, or other our product solutions. And the goal of our company, first of all, to reduce uh, this, uh, uh, the period of integration to our partners. For instance, right now we're talking to uh, the numbers of uh, several months, like uh, if a partner comes to us and uh, wants to roll out uh, this, all the services which we have not only in analytics, it will take about maybe five or six months, yes. And uh, for us, it, the challenge is to reduce the speed. And we want to uh, reduce the speed to one month or three months, that will be a really great uh, challenge for us. Uh, I, I, I also, yes, yeah, so, so, should uh, keep mention that uh, this period of time, because we are just looking forward to our end-to-end -end model. Well, yes, mm -hmm. like, uh, so uh, not all the components may be so flexible, like I've previously said, but uh, we're looking forward to for our end-to-end -end model in terms of services, and uh, we're looking forward to reduce dramatically the speed of rolling out uh, okay. the whole our system, yeah. Yep. So since you started using the double cloud platform for your analytics, you, did you see anything in your in your dashboards or tools or something that unexpected that, that you did weren't planning to see? Oh, uh, I think yeah. So uh, I think that's uh, <laughs> the most obvious uh, thing for us, or the most surprising is that right now we're working with with lots of partners all over the world and uh, lots of. And each partner has its own trends in terms of uh, uh, the numbers, in terms of rollout of our products. For instance, uh, yes, a partner in the uh, Middle East uh, has uh, dramatically different uh, numbers of uh, delivery time because of the uh, because of some specialities of the market, uh, of the region, yes, uh, on the countries and the partner, for instance, in Africa. So for us, it was really unexpected, yeah, that we uh, have been facing a really different trends in data, in the mm -hmm. processes, yes, uh, in, in, in almost the same processes. I think that is uh, the, <laughs> the main uh, uncovered thing or some unexpected thing that we have faced as a team. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, we have a question from the audience here. How do you see the food delivery market evolving over the next few years? Um, and how will your platform continue uh, to play a role? Uh, I think that's, yeah, uh, it's a really nice question. And uh, I think that uh, the evolution of food delivery market will go to the trend of uh, reducing uh, delivery time. Yes, so... Uh, I think that the next rank will be ultra fast delivery. Yes, you know okay. that this transformation we see on different markets. Yes, when a player with ultra fast delivery wins the market. Yes, so okay. when we're transforming from 40 or one hour delivery, lots of players, if they provide on the market 15 minutes delivery, so they will own the market. So that is uh, that, 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 that is uh, the, the, the trend that we're looking for. Also, uh, the second part of the question, how will young delivery tech that will inspire continue to play a role in the changing landscape? Yeah, so the question is quite straightforward that first of all, we're looking for, we're providing instruments for building these ultra fast delivery services. Yes. And uh, I think that's, uh, that's our uh, mission and that's our goal, first of all, to build the services which will uh, change the delivery market all over the world. In this case, you gotcha. Um, you, you said reducing delivery time is one of the trends that's going to happen. Is it geographically dependent? Does it matter what country you're in or what area of the world you're in? That, you know, or is it universal that the faster faster delivery time is going to you know win you the market? Yeah, I think that's that's quite universal because I, I've never seen a market where I never seen a per, even a person. That's with, true. Yeah, we, we just as the world, it's a really fast delivery. Like imagine that you can bring 
almost everything from food sack, almost some small things in, in 10 minutes or in five minutes. That, that's quite amazing. Right. And yeah, and I, I think that, you know, that kind of ties in with the real time thing, right? So everybody wants closer to real time and, and finding out what, what real time means to somebody. Um, you know, here in the US, we've been spoiled with Amazon two day shipping. Most people won't even look at another website. They'll just go straight to Amazon and, um, and buy, you know, whatever it is, even if, even if it's cheaper somewhere else, that two day delivery, you know, gets most people. So. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that's it. I think that's, I agree. Yeah. Um, do you have any advice for other startups or businesses looking to build their own data analytics infrastructure? Yeah, I, I think that's, uh, yeah, some kinds of, some piece of advice. So, so my advice will be that, uh, First of all, you need to understand what uh, you want to build, yes, and what you build to focus on, yeah. Uh, you have to, first of all, you need to have an intense plan in order to mm -hmm. build something to make something, yeah. And uh, based on it, I think that you should uh, maybe build a roadmap, first of all, yes. All the, uh, I understand all your maybe pitfalls that can face and try to leverage it. Yeah, uh, that, that's it. And also maybe uh, not to forget, yes, to use some maybe uh, already managed solutions. Yes, yep. in terms of data, yeah, they, which can help you to roll out really fast, I think. Awesome. Um, you, we've kind of already talked about, I have another question here. Can you discuss any future plans or developments for your data analytics platform? And how you plan to continue driving growth for your partners? Um, yeah. I think we kind of talked about it a little bit, but go ahead and hit it again. Since yeah, yeah, I it. think yeah, yeah. Uh, the answer, yeah, the answer to the question. I think that's I can, I can add something new. Yes, that's I. I have been answering that. Uh, first of all, we're looking forward to include some kinds of uh, super real, real fast analytics and include alerts. Yeah, you know, uh, mm -hmm. this alerting system will uh, make rollouts for our partners much more faster. That's you know that. Uh, again, uh, to build a service or to implement or allow the service, we, we may take some time, yes, some automatic service. But using this alert system, uh, you can use some manual operations in order to speed up or allow to maybe to uh, look at the at some problems at the early stages. Also, I think that uh, the second point, yes, which I haven't mentioned, is that... Uh, we're looking forward to, and we're just researching or thinking about that we can uh, provide some kinds of uh, code to our platforms, so some open source uh, code, yes, uh, of our services in order to be super transparent and to be super flexible to our partners. And so we're looking wow. forward for this solution, yeah. So partners can uh, maybe do some personal changes in services. And that's about flexibility. Awesome. Thanks, Constantine. Yeah. All right, Anya, if you want to go to the next slide, I'll, I'll just, you know, do a quick pitch on what Double Cloud offers. We've been talking a lot about, like, how Constantine and his team are delivering uh, solutions based on our platform. Um, you look in the middle there, the four main boxes are our four main components currently. Uh, our transfer service to help get data in, uh, managed ClickHouse for storing your data, streaming your data with Kafka, and ultimately visualizing that uh, with our visualization tools. So, uh, or third-party tools because you can connect straight to the ClickHouse. So, currently on AWS, and then launching in the other clouds uh, as, soon, as soon as we can get those spun up. So, that's one architecture slide. I like the second one, Anya. If you switch to that one, um, I just like this one. I like, I like the arrows and show like, hey, we're, we're moving data in. We're, we're you know, doing some type of transfer and some light transformation, you know, ETL in the, in the process, uh, landing it in, landing it in ClickHouse or streaming it in with Kafka on the left. Um, Constantine already mentioned, you know, the, the hybrid storage. So uh, underneath our storage, we use both um, uh, Elastic Block Storage and uh, S3. So you get the speed, you know, on the, on the block storage, but you can get the uh, the cost reduction by moving some of that data to S3. So um, really take advantage of what ClickHouse offers for, you know, things like the TTL statements where you can move it to a new disk. And so um, I tell my customers, you know, spend eight, make sure 80% of those that dashboard queries hit SSD. But um, if somebody wants to move a slider and look back a year, it's okay if they wait a few seconds. Um, 
have you felt have you felt the same costine uh with, with yeah data? yeah I, d I definitely agree so yeah the same definitely agree good good um so you know whether, whether you use materialized views or you know any other uh, the functionality within click house move the data get it ready for ready for serving and then use it using a visualization tool like our our visualization tool so um that's uh, double cloud platform in a nutshell on your next slide So do, do we have any questions? Uh, any more questions from the audience? I already answered a few, a few live. Um, Constantine, any final thoughts while we're waiting to see if there's any questions? Yeah, I, I think that's, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I really want to say thank you, yeah. The, thank the, you. the audience, yeah. The audience for questions, and especially you, Adam, yeah, for your really interesting questions, which we are talking about. It's really, uh, and right now, our company is really a big challenge. Yes, as I already yeah. said, and we're, we're looking forward to work with Double Cloud in order to build some effective and uh, how we've already mentioned today, some really uh, trend changing solutions in terms sure. of uh, food, food tech and ultra fast delivery. So that's it. Yeah, and I want to thank you for joining the webinar and you know doing most of the talking today about your solution and and how Double Cloud has helped you. Um, lo looking forward to seeing your continued success out there in the marketplace. Yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, last slide here, a um, couple of QR codes. Um, if you want to book a, a meeting for a demo, uh, click on the or scan the left QR code. Um, if you want uh, additional starting credits. Uh, for, to you to try out Double Cloud, uh, go ahead and click on the or scan the right QR code. With that, uh, Costine, it's been it's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining me today, and um, thanks for joining everyone.